question is from Just Walk Around It. What are some ways to improve the mind-muscle connection? Oh, number one, focus on the squeeze. The squeeze part of a lift is Mm. where you're going to, you're, you're most likely to connect and feel a muscle. If there's a muscle that you have that you feel like you can't really connect to or feel, pick an exercise that allows you to have resistance in the squeeze portion the shortened portion of the rep, Mm. do that exercise and hold the squeeze for like one, two, three seconds. It's that peak contraction part of the rep where you're going to start to feel and be able to connect to the muscle. The other part is to slow down. Mm -hmm. Slow your reps way down. Go real slow, get to the squeeze, hold it, squeeze it for two or three seconds, then get back into the rep and then go back through it, squeeze it, hold it for a couple seconds and repeat. Totally agree. Like I... I was immediately thinking of isometrics and in, in ways of like holding it within the rep where I feel like I didn't have as much access. Like, so I know there, there are certain movements that, uh, you know, if you pay attention enough and you know your body enough, you're going to find that like, wow, I don't, I don't really feel my muscle in this part of, of the range of motion. And, you know, to, to really stop right there and, and to then do what Sal's saying and like, I'm, I want to actively squeeze into that and, and really like, you know, gain that access through that makes it makes a massive difference also like single joint exercises this is where i i would definitely kind of you know steer somebody more to then kind of slow down like with the compound lifts for a bit kind of concentrate on you know a joint by joint uh you you know type of a, a, a you know exercise so that way i can can then really concentrate on each muscle doug can you can you make a note for this for a uh, youtube for me to do a video on this this actually just reminded me of something that, that would be a great youtube well you know i just the great question because it got us discussing something that i haven't thought about in a long time and this was uh, a cue that i used to consistently try and get clients what, one of the things i i started to figure out with clients they they would really struggle with the eccentric portion of the exercise, the negative of an exercise, uh, it wasn't that hard to get someone to understand when you do a bicep curl to fill it in your bicep. Like a couple times of doing that, they would get that. But the 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 natural tendencies of the body when you go to a negative is to just let gravity take care of it and relax. And you know, one the eccentric portion of the exercise is one one of the most important. All of the portions are important, but it's one of the most neglected. And it also focusing on that portion does incredible things for working on the mind muscle connection. So when I would do an exercise with somebody, I would I would be talking to them on the concentric portion. So while they're flexing the muscle, like Sal saying, focus on the squeeze. And then not only that is after I tell them to squeeze, I would tell them, resist the way down, resist the way down. Think about that muscle that I just had you squeeze. Think about that muscle I just had you squeeze. Resist the way down with that muscle and keeping them focused on resisting with that a muscle because it's really easy for them to relax that one and go to the antagonist muscle to let it do the deceleration of the exercise. So that was something that uh, I remember having to cue a lot. And once a client that light, and you could see it when that light bulb goes off. Of uh, when another example, a real, and I, this is probably what I would use is like the tricep push down. Uh, people would do a tricep push down, and uh, they would feel, of course, they flexed and they feel it in their tricep. And then when they let the cable come up, a lot of times what's resisting that on the way up is the bicep. You know, they let the bicep kind of slow it back down, and getting them to understand to flex the tricep, keep it flexed, and then resist it with the tricep on the way back. Boy, getting that getting that down will really help that well, mind you, muscle if you connection. Can, if you can feel if you can feel a muscle uh, on the negative, then you've connected. Yes, because that's the yeah. harder part to connect. Yeah. Right. Sure. 